Thank you for choosing the Transneb Compact Compressor Nebulizer from Medical Industries America. The superior technology of the Transneb will deliver your prescribed aerosol medications using this handheld go anywhere unit. In the next few minutes, you will learn how simple it is to use, clean, and maintain your Transneb nebulizer system. We highly recommend that you read your manual carefully for other important information not included in this video. Before you begin using your new Transneb, make sure you have all the components that are included with your system. The main compressor unit, the nebulizer kit, two mouthpieces, five air filters, the AC adapter, two pieces, the tubing adapter, a carry bag, and your instructional manual with quick start card. Once you have determined that all the parts are there, it is a good idea to clean your new nebulizer system before using for the first time. We will show you how to properly clean and maintain your Transneb a little later in this video. Now that you are ready to begin using your Transneb, be sure to wash your hands before beginning the treatment procedure. Place the Transneb on a sturdy surface and remove the lid from the main unit. Make sure the nebulizer is in the standby position with the nebulizer firmly seated in place and oriented so the outlet is against the external filter housing. Next, pull out the nebulizer cup and open it by pulling the top off. Make sure the micronization cone is seated correctly inside the nebulizer kit. Now pour the prescribed medication into the cup of the nebulizer kit and be careful not to exceed the maximum quantity allowed of 6 cc's. Make sure to never pour the medication into the nebulizer seat or pump area of the compressor, as it will damage the pump. Close the nebulizer kit by firmly pressing the top down onto the cup until a click is heard. Replace the nebulizer back into the compressor, making sure it is firmly seated in place and oriented so the outlet is against the filter housing. Rotate the nebulizer top clockwise until the desired position is reached. Connect the mouthpiece. Now insert the plug into the electrical outlet. Insert the AC adapter into the plug on the side of the main unit. For added portability, you may purchase the optional battery or auto adapter. A combination pack which includes both the battery and auto adapter is also available. To begin treatment, simply push the on-off button. Place your mouth completely over the mouthpiece and breathe in slow, deep, controlled breaths. It is recommended that you keep the mouthpiece in your mouth while you exhale. Continue breathing according to your doctor or respiratory therapist's instructions. Keep the unit as straight as possible to eliminate spillage and to optimize the nebulization rate. The nebulizer kit may also be operated separately from the compressor. For this method, remove the nebulizer from the compressor and fill with medication as described earlier. The tubing adapter is snapped down onto the compressor outlet and rotated counterclockwise to lock the adapter in place. The tubing connector is then firmly inserted into the bottom of the nebulizer. Lay the compressor down onto the rubber feet side for sturdy treatment positioning. For added convenience, the tubing can be snapped into the tubing holder located next to the external filter housing. Leave the compressor on until the medication begins sputtering. By the time sputtering occurs, you will have inhaled the correct dose of medication. It is normal for a small amount of medication to be left in the nebulizer cup at the end of a treatment. When you are finished with your treatment, turn the unit off. Unplug the adapter and remove the mouthpiece. Then rotate the nebulizer top into the standby position and pull out the nebulizer kit. Your unit is now ready for cleaning. This is important when you first take it out of the box and always between nebulizer treatments. It will not only prevent infection, it will also keep the air passage free of residual medication. 
The cleaning of your transneb, although very important, is still very simple. Always remember the transneb must not be connected to any power source before you begin cleaning. It is important to never submerge the transneb compressor unit in water, hold under running water, or spray with water or any other liquids. This will result in compressor damage. Simply wipe the compressor unit down with a clean, damp cloth every two to three days to keep the device dirt and dust free. If fluid happens to get into the pump, wipe it off. Turn it upside down for five minutes and then run the pump for two minutes without the nebulizer kit or tubing adapter in place. Remove the mouthpiece and disassemble the nebulizer kit. Boil the components in water for a maximum of five minutes or autoclave them at a maximum of 121 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Place the components on a clean, lint-free towel to air dry. After cleaning, we recommend reassembling the nebulizer and storing the entire system in your carry bag. To ensure your system continues to operate efficiently, you should replace the compressor unit filter after one month of use, if it turns gray, or if it has been in storage for three months or longer. To replace filters, remove the top of the filter housing, remove the used filter, and fit in a new filter. Fit the top back on the housing securely. Always use MIA filters, never cotton or other materials, and never use your unit without a filter. Your nebulizer kits should be replaced every six months. You are now set to start using your Transneb Nebulizer Compressor System and experience the freedom and convenience provided by this simple to use and very transportable unit. Once again, we would like to highly recommend a thorough review of the Transneb Operating Manual for important safeguards and complete instructions. You may also refer to the Quick Start Card found in your manual for fast how-to reminders. Please contact your local dealer if you would like to order other Transneb parts and accessories offered by Medical Industries America.